venetoclax is a small molecule BCL2 inhibitor, incredibly active in CLL. It looks to have potency that's comparable to a brutinib, although they have not been compared head to head yet. Uh, and there was a very important trial that was published this past year in the New England Journal of Medicine that looked at the combination of venetoclax combined with rituximab versus bendamustine and rituximab, and this was for patients with relapsed CLL, so patients had already failed some sort of frontline therapy. And the really interesting thing about this trial was that the venetoclax was given for a fixed duration of two years. Uh, historically, all the novel oral targeted agents are given indefinitely, and that can become a drag for a patient financially from a toxicity profile. So I really like the idea of giving fixed duration therapy. So the rituximab was given for six months and then the venetoclax for two years, and that was compared against standard BR, bendamustine rituximab. The bendamustine dose was 70 milligrams per square meter. Anyway, the, the results showed very strong superiority for the venetoclax rituximab regimen over the BR regimen. The progression-free survival curve is very impressive with about 80 plus, 84 percent of patients progression-free at two years. So a very potent regimen and I think really an excellent choice for second line therapy for any CLL patient. And those results were equally good whether the patients were mutated or unmutated, uh, virtually as good uh, whether they had 17P deletions. So venetoclax works very well even in the unfavorable subtypes.